Hi everyone, you're also welcome back to Nina Library for this week's craft session. I thought it would be nice for us to make a hug card for all our loved ones that we are missing at this time. We're first going to draw the girl's face. We're going to draw half a heart shape. Now we're going to draw her cheek. We're going to draw a little bump right here and then we're going to come down and connect. Now we're going to draw her face. We're going to draw a little cheek line right here, a little curve. And now we're going to draw her eyes closed because she's giving such a big hug. Let's give her eyelashes, little lines for eyelashes. Let's give her hair. We're going to draw another curve that comes up over her eyes, and then a little V shape for her hair sticking down, and then another curve coming over to the other side. And let's give her an ear, a C shape for her ear. She can also have longer hair. We can draw an upside down U for the scrunchie of her ponytail. And then let's draw her ponytail. We draw a curve that goes out, then down, and right at the end, I'm going to curve. And now let's draw the other side of her hair. We start here at this point, come up and connect to her head. Okay, now let's draw her first arm that's wrapping around his neck. She's giving him a big hug. Okay, and then let's draw her other arm. We're going to draw an oval shape that's connecting to this arm. So we're going to draw them touching. And now we're going to draw his head. It's going to come out of, of her arm right here. We're going to come out like this and we're going to curve back in. So this is his neck and also his cheek. And now we're going to draw his hair. We're going to start on her cheek right here. We're going to draw a zigzag. We're going to come out and back down. And then let's draw another zigzag, a smaller one. And then I'm going to draw a line that comes out and connects to the curve at the end. That's the bottom of his hair. Let's draw the top of his hair. We'll draw another curve going up and then back down, a zigzag. And then let's draw another one, curve out and then back down. And then another one and one last one coming down and then connecting to his cheek. Okay, now let's draw his face. I'm going to draw a circle right here for his eyes and then another circle for the other eye beside her cheek. And then we can draw a little U shape for his nose. And then let's color his eyes. Now we're going to draw their bodies. We're going to draw his body first. We're going to start at the bottom of his arm. We're going to draw a curved line that comes down. Then at the very bottom, let's draw a line across for the bottom of his shorts and then draw another line above it for his waist. Then let's add his legs and we'll draw a short line and then up. We can do the same thing on the other side, in and up. Let's give him shoes, draw a little curve for each shoe. Okay, let's also draw his arms. Let's draw one arm like he's trying to get away. Draw a sideways U shape. We can also draw a short line down for the sleeve of his shirt. Now let's draw his other arm over here. Draw a U shape and then draw a line across for his sleeve. And now let's draw her body. We'll draw a curved line coming down right next to his body and then draw a short line that connects to his leg. And then we can draw the bottom of her dress and then we can also draw her shoes. And then let's draw a line on her arm for her sleeve. Okay, let's, let's add some hearts. So the first one, draw a C shape and a backward C shape that comes down to a point. And then we can draw a smaller one up a little higher and then we'll draw one more heart even smaller and up to the left so it looks like the hearts are going back and forth. Okay, let's draw a large heart. We'll draw a C shape and then we'll draw a backward C shape that comes to a point. And 
And now we'll color in our picture. And now we'll cut out our heart shaped picture for the cover of our card. Now let's fold our card in half and glue our cut out picture to the front. And now I'm going to write a hug for you in the front of my card. But you can put your own personal message on the outside and the inside of your card. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy making this card.